Hi, I'm Annie. I'm Lars, and after a brief hiatus where I became Dr. Hoople, we are back. With Season 3 of Playing with Prologue. Hey, hey Annie, did you work on something cool while we were off? Indeed I did. I moved to India, and I wrote a prologue program to help me get around Bangalore on public transit. That sounds cool, can you show it to me? I grabbed a database of distances from the internet and converted them to a prologue predicate. This predicate represents the travel time between a pair of points. And what do you do with that information? Well, so far this is just a dumb database that doesn't compute anything. What I want is to compute uh, distances between arbitrary points. How did you implement this? First of all, I needed to define a predicate that can give me distances between two fixed points in both directions. Otherwise, I could get from Koromangala to Indranagar, but not from Indranagar to Koromangala. I see, but you need to give that predicate a different name. Exactly. Next, I had to define another predicate that could connect two points via a third point. This is where it gets difficult. What's the matter? You need to keep track of cycles. If there's a route from A to B, then there's also a route from B to A, which means you can go from A to A and just keep going around in circles. I could track that in an extra list, but that seems inconvenient. I only want to know the total distance, not all the steps. I could also get multiple answers if there are multiple routes. Yeah, that's annoying, but I think I know a way how to fix this. How would you do that? Uh, there's this neat feature in Prolog called tabling. I've heard of that one, but I never understood what it does. So the basic idea behind tabling is that the Prolog engine keeps track of all the arguments the predicate has been evaluated on so far. If it has already seen a particular set of arguments, it'll immediately come back with the answer from before. That sounds a lot like memoization. It is. And because Prolog doesn't distinguish between inputs and outputs, you can be very flexible what gets memoized. So for example, with a database of connections, you don't have to define a new predicate with backwards connections. You can declare this predicate to be tabled and Prolog will take care of it for you. That's neat, but I wonder, how does the interpreter decide what gets memoized and what doesn't? We can specify that in the header. This technique is called mode-directed tabling. What does that mean? You know what modes are, right? Yeah, they're used when documenting predicates to tell which parameters can be variables, which have to be fully specified. Yeah, mode-directed tabling works in a similar way. We tell the interpreter which parameters are inputs and which ones are computed. But what about non-deterministic predicates? There could be two routes from A to B with different total distances. Tabling modes can also process multiple results. In your example, you'd probably want to compute the minimum distance, right? Yes, that's right. We can use the min mode for that. This mode will keep track of all the values it has seen so far and returns the smallest one. Wow, there's hardly any code left and it just works. I know, right? Tabling is magic. Thanks, Lars, for cleaning up my code. I can now get around much more efficiently. If you enjoyed this episode of Playing with Prolog, please like and subscribe. It does help. And keep playing with Prolog.